Literally everything's been made here in the workshop. Well, we would have sat down and designed and concepted over two or three or four weeks, and then in May we would have started building the parade. There's, in total, there's about 13 large floats, about 300 costume performers, but then there's kind of, there's carry sections, there's kind of puppets and lights and all different other bits and pieces as well. I'm working on the memory float, which is the purple float, and these are picture frames that, um, well, they're fake picture frames that have been made out of polystyrene, and then they've been covered in this kind of a latex and a cotton material. And, and what will this be representing then when it's in the parade? Um, memory. So there's going to be some images that are projected on them, kind of um, representing somebody's life, the stages of their life. Double jobber Claire is one of hundreds of performers in the famous parade, most needing specially made costumes. It was 235 people in the parade and there would be roughly about 180 full costumes. So how long have you been planning this year's costumes? Around about three months. So we, we do sketches first of all and then we start looking at, at different fabrics, obviously, and the plans and start cutting patterns. And then I call in the girls and we start sewing. You know, it's the best. Uh, the two words are in the title, aren't they? Street and arts. And we bring the arts out onto the streets. They are free, very accessible. And we have nine artists from nine countries here this weekend. So they're a really, really good spread of material for people to see. It's been a great 20 years and, you know, like any job you love doing, it doesn't seem like the time has passed at all. I think the heart of Spree is the fact that it's a festival for the people of Waterford themselves. But like that, if you go to a place on your holidays and the natives are enjoying themselves, you're getting a true spirit of the place. That's what attracts the visitors into Waterford for Spree weekend. The great thing about Spree, I mean, it is a showcase for street theatre, uh, and it's of an international scale. There isn't events, li very few events like this across the world. Uh, most of the events, if not uh, nearly all, are free, um, and there's always a great buzz. There's a great variety of events, and it takes you into all corners of Waterford City. So it's a, it's a wonderful event, so, and it's citywide. One of the highlights of the Spree Festival is the parade. This year the theme is light and darkness and the spectacular show has been enjoyed by the thousands who lined the streets. As you can see, everybody's here, we're in costume, we're 10 minutes out and it's, the atmosphere is brilliant, the weather is brilliant. I think we're going to have a wonderful evening here in the streets of Waterford tonight. You're unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. In all day, I have to say, totally amazed by it all. It's fantastic. Terrific show, and the effort is absolutely put into it. I think it's wonderful. They're having a great time. They look fabulous. No Spree Festival would be complete without fireworks. This year is no exception. We're going to leave you now this evening with a very special fireworks display celebrating 20 years of Spree.